Hi, I'm Kevin Fritz, and we're back at the Art of Cigars in the Palladio here in Folsom. <laughs> hey, and I'm Terrence Springer with Remax, and welcome back to the Real Estate Lowdown. Well, each week we pick a new cigar to try, and this week we figured we'd hit up Eric, and he suggested these fabulous cigars. So, Eric, can you tell us a little bit about the La Flor Dominicana? Absolutely. We decided today that you're going to go big. Go or big. So this is the, the La Flor Dominicana Digger. So as you can see, it's a big boy. So you yep. gotta, gotta give this one some time. We're talking eight inches, right? 60 ring gauge. And what LaFleur is known for is its Lijero. So double Lijero. So Lijero is the strongest leaf on the tobacco plants. The leaf on the top gets the most sun, so it gets the most strength, right? So when you're talking double Lijero, you're talking two full leaves of Lijero in this bad boy. Nice. Wow. So you wanna smoke it on a full stomach. Might want to have a nice, uh, nice sugary Coke or something available in case you get a little, uh, a little buzz, little woozy, yeah. right? Get a little yeah. cigar buzz. Nice. A little sugar will help take care of that, but it's a great cigar with great flavor. Awesome. awesome. Thank you Looking very much. Looking forward to it. Enjoy it, guys. Digger. Digger, digger. Well, hey, it's time to chill out again. That was great information on the digger. I always find it interesting being in the humidor and learning different things about cigars. Terrence knows a lot. Eric knows a lot here at The Art of Cigars. And it's great to be with you. So, how's your week going, Terrence? So, uh, my week is outstanding. I have some new clients who want to list their house way above market value. So, I asked them, what will be included in the sale? So, you mean appliances, furnishings, that kind of stuff? Yep, they said everything plus a kidney. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, let's talk a little bit about how realtors come up with their sales prices on homes. That's a really good question. Well, quite honestly, we look at the comps in the neighborhood. So we had this discussion before a couple weeks ago, and we were talking about how appraisers look at things and how realtors look at things. Realtors are always the most positive people in the world and think they can get you the highest price. And appraisers look at what sold in the last three months. So as a good realtor, what we need to look at is a combination of what the market's doing and what has sold in the neighborhood. So you want to price it towards the top of the market if the house is in great showing condition. If it's not and it needs work, you might want to price it slightly under market value and get a bidding war. So there's kind of a common misunderstanding that if you price it low, it's automatically going to get multiple bids. That's not true. What I've learned is you can price it slightly higher and always come down to meet the market. If you, you cannot always go up, meaning that if you list it at this low number and say, well, I'm not getting enough activity, let's bump it up to 300 now. If it was listed at 250, it's not gonna make sense. But if it's at 300 and you bring it down to 250, it may make a little more sense. So you really have to know which way the market is going. Either it's going this way, this way. If it's like this, that's what that means, okay? And if you find yourself a little bit confused, it's because it is confusing. And a good realtor is not just, hey, I want the pink one or I want the blue one. Correct. It's somebody who really understands the market and what the market fluidity is and the dynamics. Because you were just telling me yesterday about a house that you were bringing on to market, but somebody was undercutting the market. Yeah. It's going to impact what the price was going to be for that seller to be able to sell it for. Yeah, so the interesting part is that uh, a lot of realtors, if they've been around the business a while, they have realtor relationships. And we talk to each other. It's not like we go magically put a sign in the ground and it sells. That's not how this happens. The real experienced realtors are out there talking to one another and networking and saying, hey, what do you have coming? Well, I have this. I say something like, well, I have this coming on. So we try and get people excited before the house actually hits the market. That's the best way. But yeah, yeah. I'm in a predicament now. We both have the same size house. I thought his house was going to be on the market three months ago. And now I'm sitting and having to compete with him. And we're both in the uh, business of making houses really beautiful. So this is going to be a really interesting competition because now we're fighting for the same type of buyer. And that's always uncomfortable because I like the guy. Yeah. So, as you're pricing your house, there's some things to think about. Well, tell me what's new in the mortgage world this week, Kevin. Well, I'll tell you what, I think uh, there's always dynamics in the market right now. Everyone's so busy at this time of the year, taking vacations and hanging out by the pool. It's been more challenging to get all the documents needed to 
complete the whole loan application process and get it done. But don't people always want their house right away? Absolutely. And tell me how timelines get screwed up. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's so critical in the process. You think, that's oh, just an extra day here or there. And the problem is you really want those days back at the end of the process and you go late. Absolutely. Well, I'm Terrence Springer with Remax Gold. And thanks again to the guys here at Art of Cigars, guys and girls. Be sure to come down and check them out sometime. Buy some great cigars like the Digger and ones with plume on it. You'll be thanking me later. Yep, you'll like it. Hey, I'm Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage. Stop by the next time for more real estate lowdown. Low down.